Mic check one, two, one, two, three, one, two, F3. Today we're talking audio recording. Hi, I'm Simon and welcome back to the channel where we talk about photo, video and the gear you need to create it. This week we're talking about this thing, the F3 field recorder from Zoom. Now I'm no audio expert, so this is not gonna be an in-depth review, but I can talk about what I like about the F3 and how I'm using it in my workflow. Since the beginning of this channel, I've been struggling with audio. I've gone from using things like an on-camera shotgun mic, this is the Rode Video Micro 2, and I've used wireless lapel mics like the Rode Wireless Go. But both of these feed directly into the camera, which limits how good the audio can actually get. And my goal is to make things sound better for you and be easier for me in post-production. So I did what we all do, jumped into YouTube, did my research, and that's what led me to the Zoom F3 field recorder. So at its most basic, the Zoom F3 is a recorder you can plug XLR mics into and get that audio onto a micro SD card. Plugging those XLR mics in is something you can't do with a mirrorless camera like my Canon R5 or any of the Sonys. You don't get this sort of capability unless you move up to a cinema camera. Most recorders can take an XLR input. That's kind of what they do. But what sets the Zoom F3 apart is the fact it records in something called 32-bit float. That's just a fancy way of saying this records so much information that you can adjust the gain after recording. Nothing's ever too loud or too quiet. It's basically magic. It's kind of like shooting a photograph in RAW. You get more dynamic range and you get more information in the highlights and the shadows. That's what 32-bit float does and then some. Not having to test and set your gain before you start recording and not have to worry about it at all is amazing if you're a solo creator. It means you can just set and forget your recorder and go off and do those other 50 things you need to be doing. Okay, so let's have a look at the recorder itself. So on the front, you've got a pretty basic monochrome screen. It's not high resolution, it's not a touch screen, it's not flashy colors, but it works well. And on that screen, you've got two waveforms, one for each of the two channels this can record. There's a couple of buttons here that let you zoom in and out on the waveform. Zooming in and out does change your recording volume, but it's kind of like having white balance on a raw photo. It's in there, you see it as soon as you load the image, but you can change it after the fact. You still have all the information information recorded. It also affects the line out volume, but I'll talk more about that later. On the top here, you've got two locking XLR inputs. They're not the dual personality ones, which you can plug a jack into as well. I don't think there's physically room inside this tiny box. And if you need phantom power for your microphone, both of these channels can provide it. And over on the left side, you've got a USB-C input. Now I'm using it to power it, but you can also connect it up to your PC to make it act as an audio interface which makes it an easy way to plug two XLR microphones into your computer. And there's even a loop back, so any sounds your computer make get recorded onto the onboard SD card as well as the two microphones. Over on the right hand side, you've got the on off button and you've also got a sliding switch for record and hold. I've slipped it down into hold now because I'm moving this thing around. I don't want to accidentally press the stop button. There's also a slot over here for the Zoom Bluetooth adapter, but I think it's a bit overpriced and this thing's always within arm's reach. I don't really need it. And then finally underneath here on the bottom edge, you've got a headphone jack with buttons to adjust the volume. And there's also a line out plug. Now this is what allows me to use this to streamline my workflow. So let's talk about how I've integrated this with my workflow to make things easier. I've got my Rode shotgun mic up here just out of shot that's feeding into the XLR socket. And then from the line out port, I have a cable, just a 3.5 millimeter jack one, going into my camera's mic input. Of course, I'm recording onto an SD card as well, just in case I've got anything wrong, I've still got this. So if the cable falls out, if I've got my gains wrong on the camera, I've still got a good quality recording that I can use. Now I go into the camera config and I look for sound recording. Now on my Canon, it's on page one, other cameras, it'll be somewhere else, but you're looking for the recording level. Now cameras have notoriously bad preamps, so you want this doing as little as possible. So I've moved the level all the way to zero and then ticked it back at one, so it's doing as little work as possible. Now you want the audio levels on your camera on screen when you do this. Now you can do that in the menu or you can be on a recording screen. You just need to see those bars going up and down. Now you want those to be peaking just above minus 12 dB. Now this is where I use the plus and minus buttons on the front of the F3 just to magnify that waveform because that also adjusts the volume on the line out. So I'll keep ticking that up whilst talking into the microphone until I see my audio levels where I need them to be. So I know I've got a guaranteed good recording on here, even if I stuff things up at the camera end. But if I get it right, the audio is linked in with the video in the camera, so I only have one file to edit in post. I don't need to worry about syncing separate audio with the camera audio. And that's how I use the F3 to get good audio on these videos. Minimal fuss, good sound quality, What's not to love? If you've got any questions about the F3 or how I'm using it, drop them down in the comments below. If you found this video useful, if you could drop a like down below, that would be great. And if you want to see more content like this, there's a subscribe button down there too. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye.